My name's Ruben, I'm 27 years old. I'm a design engineer for Teagle Machinery and I've been doing that for five years. My favourite time of the farming year is the beginning of silage season. So I'd say that the, the three words that describe my job are that it's varied, um, that it's challenging and also that it's, it's rewarding. As an engineer I design machines that make farming safer, make it easier and also more productive. Um, so for example designing machines that distribute straw around the shed for keeping animals well bedded and comfortable. Some of the skills that are needed uh, I would break down into four main things. So one of them is problem solving, uh, another is being analytical, so kind of going back to the first one, breaking stuff down, working out what the key issues are at the core of it so that you can work out some solutions. Team working as well and also just being practical, being good with your hands, you know, working out how things work, uh, getting involved in machinery, things like that. So to get into this industry, it depends what area you want to go into. There's the design side of it, which I do, and you, you would need like a knowledge of software, some of the mechanics and calculations in the background. Um, but equally, you've got the manufacturing side of it on the factory floor, um, and so it's a case of learning those machines and how to program them, how they work, and knowing what they're doing. To get into this profession, I went to university, but that's definitely not for everyone. I would say that you should explore uh, apprenticeships and vocational qualifications, more hands-on stuff as well, because there's different ways that suit different people. I kind of got into this career because I had uh, an interest in, in how things worked. I wasn't cut out to be a farmer, but I, I do care about the industry. Um, so for me to explore that interest in how things work and then to put it to use in agriculture was just like the ideal match. For this industry, the salary range kind of depends on the sort of role that you're doing. So for a design engineer, as a graduate, you'd probably start at around 25,000. Um, but as you progress, you know, that might make its way into the low 30s. I don't believe there's any such thing as the perfect job, but I have to say that I get a lot of satisfaction out of um, seeing machines go out the door that I've played a part in um, and knowing that the teamwork here at the factory has, has brought together a machine that's going to help someone out.